Hello YouTube, this is Grave Vendor, and I'm going to be coming at you right now with another Marvel Contest of Champions video. In this episode we're going to be tackling the last portion of Mission 4 in Act 4 of Chapter 1 for the 100% completion on that. Now first off, I just want to take this time to uh, apologize for the fact that I haven't really had a lot of videos come out the past couple of days. I've been sick been very very sick I've uh, had strep throat so I really couldn't talk all that great uh, my voice is it's it's still like my tonsils are still swollen up a little bit not as bad as it has been uh, I can actually eat some foods now uh, I couldn't eat anything for a while while I was doing uh, from Sunday night into this morning actually I actually haven't been able to eat anything solid. Uh, it's just been drinking liquids, and it's it's been absolutely awful. Absolutely awful. Um, finally starting to get over it. Uh, so I feel a lot better now to actually be able to do these videos. And hopefully we won't have any more breaks anytime soon, uh, especially not coming up within the next week, because Fallout 4 comes out on the 10th. So we'll be doing that. Definitely be hitting that up. But I know a lot of you guys come to uh, to watch these kind of videos. And I, like I said, I do apologize that I didn't really get much of anything up the past couple of days. But I just haven't felt up to it. But let's get into it, guys. Now this team that I'm bringing in is actually underranked for this mission. I did notice that <laughs> when I put it together, so... Not exactly the best thing in the world to be doing in these kind of missions, but my top three, well, the top three that I would definitely be bringing into something like this are currently tied up in the Alliance Quest, so they are not available, so that really kind of hurt the team rating, but as most of you probably know, team rating is not always the biggest thing when it comes to these kind of missions. You can usually underman things. It just depends on who you have in your team. I know for Act 3, at the end of that, a lot of people uh, were using a three-star Doctor Strange to take down Thanos. So Things can be done. You just have to have a will and a way. Or health potions, which I have in abundance. Definitely have an abundance of health potions. Just because I don't use them. So that always comes in handy. I'm hoping... That moving forward, I'll be able to actually do some more videos, have some stored, saved, ready to go in case anything happens, like being sick again. That way I can still post stuff. Even when I'm sick, kind of put some stuff on a back burner and save it. That way you guys still have stuff that you can watch and not think that I've like completely given up on my channel because that would be completely far from the truth. This is not something I want to give up on. I actually love doing this and I appreciate the support that I've got from you guys throughout the duration of it. I know a lot of people came just for like crystal videos and that's usually what I get the most views from but I'm hoping that the channel will pick up and we'll, we'll get some more people who come to watch other things too because I enjoy I, I, I love playing Contest of Champions but I like playing other games too. I really do. I really enjoy playing other games. Sometimes we, we do videos on things that are kind of hit and miss. Uh, <laughs> Sims uh, build it is definitely a miss that game is is not the best game in the world to do videos on and it's very frustrating as far as I'm concerned I don't know if I'll, I'm gonna play it anymore or not I may actually just end up deleting it completely from uh, from my tablet I'm it's really it it wants you to sink money into it is exactly what it wants there's never enough uh, there's never a way to make enough money on that game to do everything that it wants you to do before your people start leaving you. And it's really kind of frustrating. 
To me it is at least. It makes me mad. This game, they obviously want you to sink money into it as well, but that's more of a player thing. It's more the people that play the game make it so that you have to sink money into it because they sink money into it, so it's a chain of... It's a chain reaction. One person sinks money in, and the next person sinks money and so on and so forth, and it's it's player-driven money spending. Whereas with SimCity Build, it's like your people start leaving their buildings and abandoning them, and it's because this new thing popped up and you don't have the money for it, and... Now you've got to come up with money. And the only way to get the money is to buy it or upgrade your buildings. And it's just, there's never enough. It's one thing after another. I've learned, I learned that in that game up to like level 15, I think I got. And it was just one thing after another. Oh, we need education. Well, I don't have the money to buy the stuff that you need for education. Oh, we need a police department. Well, I don't have the money to spend to put a police department in every precinct in this place. Oh, well, we're moving out. And it's just, to me, it just seemed like more of a cash grab, so I'm, I'm done with that game. Absolutely done with it. Some games you can tell, like with spending money on this, it's a little bit more exciting because there's a potential that you could get something pretty awesome. Spending the money on that game, it's it's not you're getting anything awesome out of it whatsoever. And plus, I don't have the money to spend on it right now anyway, where I don't have a job, so... Definitely not sinking money into something that I don't have the money for. I don't know about you guys, though. I'm definitely excited for the 10th and Fallout 4. I'm going to be honest, too. I've never played any of the other Fallout games before. I never have. I don't know why. There's certain games that everybody absolutely loves that, that are like these big, huge franchises that I've absolutely never touched the games before, never played them, and I don't know why I never did. Uh I don't, I don't know. I just don't know why I never touched them. don't know why I ever never played them. I think Fallout, one of the biggest reasons why I never played it in the past was I'm not a real big first person kind of player. If you haven't noticed, whenever I do the Batman games, I try to stay out of the first person on it as much as possible, especially when you get into the Batmobile and I accidentally push a button and it's poof I'm in first person I'm trying to escape and get away from being in first person I just don't like the feel of it I like seeing the character I like being able to see my character cat's absolutely driving me nuts right now I don't know if you guys have the problem or you have any animals or anything like that but if you have cats and they are not spayed or neutered well if, if they're not neutered especially well spayed I have two female cats neither of them are fixed and when it comes to that time of the month they absolutely drive me insane If you can hear her in the background, she does this constantly right now. She's just completely under the desk, rubbing up against my legs. But she like likes to make a lot of noise. Don't you go away? And start locking the door to the bedroom just so she can't get in anymore. Put a blanket under it. I 
But yeah, hopefully, hopefully we're back to regular schedule now. I'm putting out a couple videos a day at least. I'm gonna start working on some some more Batman videos here in just a little bit, and uh, I'm hopefully gonna break into the Mad Max one. Uh, it's been sitting here for so long. I have been sitting on this Mad Max game for so long. And I haven't even touched it. It's just sitting here. It's like I don't even. Why did I even get you? I don't. I don't play you. I don't do nothing. Because I, I want to make the videos of it. And it's like there's there's never enough time in the day to do this stuff. Not with how long it takes to. You, you guys know. Like if you watch my other videos, we do thirty minutes of gameplay, just so that it doesn't mess anything up, as far as as the rendering process goes and. And how long it takes anyway, because I'm just I'm just gonna clue you all in. Like whenever I do these videos, these ones don't take that long. The contest videos they don't take very long to do anything with whatsoever. But like a PlayStation 4 video game, like I do 30 minutes of gameplay, it takes an hour and a half to render that into the uh, the software that I use. To, to make the the videos and add every like the any kind of effects or anything else that I, I would want to put into it into the video it takes an hour and a half for that to get done and then it takes another like hour and a half uh, hour hour and a half for it to process into YouTube for it to upload process and, and post so uh, you're, you're looking at like we're okay I'm, playing 30 minutes of gameplay but that's 30 minutes there two hours after it's done uh, rendering uh, through the software and then three and a half hours three and a half hours after it's it's finally done and uploaded to YouTube so it's it's it takes forever and you can't one inch when it's I'm gonna tell you right now too when it's rendering on the software program, you can't do anything else. There, You absolutely cannot do anything else. You can't make any other videos. You can't do nothing. Because it, it's that's the one thing that processes the most on the computer. So that's that's it. That's all, that's all your computer's doing. I've tried looking up uh, websites and, and you know checking out Facebook and things like that whenever there's videos rendering. You can't. Can't do nothing. Nothing at all. That's your computer is pushed to whatever it's that's that's what it's gonna do. That's that's all it's gonna do is render that video and, and make it and that's it. That's all you get. Nothing else. <coughs> it absolutely boggles my mind. So whatever videos you're going, like I'm I'm making I'm just like I'm just playing this game. I'm playing anything on my tablet because you can't do anything else. There's absolutely nothing else you can do. Obviously, the tablet doesn't get affected because it doesn't have anything to do with the with the laptop itself or the computer. So, but you you definitely can't do anything. You can't play any other video games for sure on the PlayStation Four. Or at least not make videos of anything at all. I, mean, I can play the tablet all day long. I can play the tablet while videos are are being made on uh, Sony Movie Studio, but can't make videos. <laughs> you definitely can't make videos. So this this definitely takes a lot more time than than people probably think it takes a lot more time than I actually thought it took to do the the more you get into it the more processed you try to make things I go ahead and see here's here's the thing like I have tons of these potions like these 375s I've got 451 like that's that's a ton uh, that's enough there to, to Probably not do Realm of Legends, but it's a lot. That should be enough. Let's go on in.
I like to talk to you guys about like real life stuff too. Like, I don't know. Yesterday, like I, I thank God for uh, for my mom. I really do. She's the only person I have that actually tries to help me in in life. Uh, uh, she came up yesterday, and she brought me like some ice cream and some yogurt and <laughs> Gatorade. And I don't. Uh, I don't. I don't have the best insurance in the world right now, so I, I get stuff from like family members. Like I've got a brother that has three kids too, and they seem to be sick all the time. So I, I got some antibiotics uh, from one of my nieces yesterday to try and help with this uh, uh, with this strep throat because. The antibiotics that I got from one of them previously ran out. And <laughs> my mom is like, she'll help me out any way she possibly can. But she, there are certain things that she just absolutely, she can't stand. Like me spending money on things like the uh, the pop vinyls. <laughs> she uh, she came over the other day when the kids were here. And she saw the pops that I have in the living room, which is absolutely not even close to half of what the pops that I have because most of them are here in the bedroom and um, when she bought the antibiotics up yesterday uh, I looked at the bottle I'd never heard of the antibiotics before and I was like well they've sent me something over here that's going to kill me and it's probably not an antibiotic so I got to look it up on the internet <laughs> to make sure I'm not taking something that's going to kill me and she followed me into the bedroom and was like she, she didn't, didn't even look at the recording equipment that I had. It was just, she looked and saw two shelves full of pop vinyls and she, she like flipped out and she's like, you could have spent so much more money on certain things. She's like, you know, what are you, how are you doing this? It's like, it's cause I've been collecting them for a long time. They add up. It's not like I just went out and bought it all of them yesterday. So I don't know if anybody else's uh, parents are like that or not, but mine definitely is. Okay, and the rewards look like they're getting a little bit better now. So we, we get some pretty decent ISO out of this. I do think that this is more than normal. I'd have to actually look at the other videos. Some four-star hero crystal shards. And the signature stone. And let's go ahead and open up these crystals. And I'm going to throw that signature stone on uh, Deadpool like I normally do. Obviously these are... They're not the best crystals in the world. Now I got some... Uh, I'm just going to say the other day I got some units out of those. I don't know. I've never seen units come out of them before. But there were units that came out. Uh, let's go in here, find our three star, Deadpool, because this is helping him get built up more. Take him to 25. Slowly but surely, he's he's getting built up more. Uh, it's it's going to be hard to overtake any of the rest of these guys, considering their levels, uh, Storms at 96. The lowest one obviously is Wolverine and he's at he's he's fully he's fully there. I should have known that because I've got his I've got his signature stones from the other ones, but that's gonna be it guys for this episode. Thank you everyone for, for hanging in there and and keeping up with everything that's going on. I always remember to check out the Twitter, check out Facebook. I I post stuff regularly on both twitter I, I notified people that i was sick and i wasn't gonna be putting up videos on monday um so check those out links will be in the description below and just remember like share comment subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one later guys